Plants make up more than 80% of our diets. That means they're essential for food security. Plants help provide the nutrients we need to live healthy and active lives. Even the oxygen we breathe comes from plants. The trouble is, plants are under threat. The fight to save plants from a pest and the disease is a historic one. According to the Book of Exodus in Biblical times, a swarm of locusts ravaged all forms of vegetation, leaving nothing green in Egypt. In ancient Greece, Theophrastus, who's considered the father of botany, wrote about the vulnerability of plants to pests and diseases. 2,000 years later, in the 1860s, Phylloxera, an aphid-like insect, devastated French vineyards. Pests and the disease had become such a danger to plants that the first international agreement was signed in Bonn in 1881, describing phytosanitary measures to stop the spread of grape aphids in Europe. In 1929, the first International Convention for Plant Protection was developed and signed in Rome. Soon after the founding of the United Nations and the Food and Agriculture Organization, it became evident that there's a need to protect the world's plant resources from pests and diseases. The IPPC and its international standards for phytosanitary measures are critical to facilitating and promoting safe trade in plants and plant products, to protect the environment and to underpin food security. As the world become more and more interconnected, and the opportunity for pest and the disease movement increased, in 1969, the FAO conference decided to revise the IPPC to take account of a change in trade and agriculture. In 1992, the IPPC Secretariat was established. In the same year, the Committee of Experts on Phytosanitary Measures was established. And the first international standards on phytosanitary measures were adopted. In 1995, the World Trade Organization Sanitary and Phytosanitary Agreement established new trade rules and recognized the IPPC as the technical standard-setting organization for plant health. The revised IPPC came into force in 2005, confirming the establishment of the IPPC Secretariat and it also established the Commission on Phytosanitary Measures as a governing body. Today, the IPPC Secretariat is working with 183 contracting parties and the nine regional plant protection organisations and supporting the United Nations Development Agenda for 2030 with a direct contribution to seven sustainable development goals. In today's globalized era, preventing the spread of plant pests and diseases while facilitating trade is more complex and important than ever. As the movement of people and goods increases, pests can cross borders and spread to new areas. Climate change is also making plants more vulnerable to attack. The IPPC is working to combat these new challenges. More than 90 international standards have now been adopted, and IPPC projects are being implemented in over 150 countries. The IPPC keeps evolving with the times. IPPC, protecting the world's land resources from pests.